Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to stitch your raw KUKAM 3 uh, Ultra VR 180 mod uh, footage in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it's going to assume that you know a little bit about using DaVinci Resolve and that you have already installed Cartiverse uh, in it. Uh, if you haven't, I would highly recommend going and watching a bunch of Hugh Ho's videos on DaVinci Resolve first. So we'll start by setting our project settings to 7680 by 3840. And uh, it's very helpful to use proxies. I'm not going to for this tutorial, but definitely when you're actually going through and rendering your footage, I would definitely set up some proxies. I do find that if you try to use any of the other um, options here for input scaling, it can kind of mess with things uh, once you're going into Fusion to set the VR stitch. So. Uh, I've had the best luck with scale entire image to fit. And really that's it for the settings. So I'll just go ahead and import some media. And I forgot to change the frame rate, but it will automatically do that for you. And we'll go ahead and create a new timeline. And I'm just going to jump straight into Fusion. And we're going to add two crops. A combiner. And then a KV lens stereo and then finally a KV viewer so because our footage comes from uh, the KUKAM 3 top bottom we have to crop the two and then combine them into it um, from a vertical into a horizontal. And it's pretty simple. We'll just crop it by half. And this is going to be our right eye. We can tell because the you can see the other lens is on the left side. So this will be the right eye. And I'll usually rename it just so I can keep track and then for the left side we'll do the same thing but we'll shift the Y offset to also 3840 and this will give us our left eye And then we will combine them. The left eye should go into the first input and the right eye into the second input. And we can see that we have a combined image that's now horizontal instead of vertical. And then we'll 
pass it into the lens, uh, KVR lens stereo, if it'll let us view it, maybe. Here we go. Where we're going to input our camera specific K numbers, um, which we can find in our calibration file. Uh, if not, I'll also have these numbers uh, in the description. So we just have to copy and paste these numbers, uh, which are in this D line. Uh, it's actually just what is K numbers elsewhere, and it's K1 through 4. So you just copy and paste them, and it will uh, transform the image for you. And we do want to make sure to set the stereo as horizontal. And I usually turn off auto scale. I th and that's all we need to do inside of this node. So inside of KBR Viewer, We'll set it to fisheye, because we have fisheye footage, horizontal, and we'll uncheck auto res resolution, and then we'll set it to 3840, which will give us a, um, perfect echo rectangular image. Um, one thing that I have noticed that is um, along the very edges, like this roof, it's actually not sloped correctly. Um, and I think the reason that is, um, from reading from other people, is the actual field of view from the KuCam 3 is actually wider than 180 degrees. And so what I've found is if I set this higher, closer to 190, it will resolve that issue. And the edges will be nice and straight, uh, like they are in real life. And we'll just click Solid Alpha. Uh, if you want to add a mask, you can do that here. And that's pretty much it for setting your stitch. Um, I have not had to do any kind of alignment. Uh, it usually gives me perfect stereo, and that should cover it. Um, after that, you'll be good to export it.